Hey everybody! Today we're going to change the spindle bearings and do a general cleanup on this old Kubota 44 inch mower deck. So we're returning to the Kubota 1670 lawn tractor project that you saw in earlier videos. You might recall that it came to us in a pretty rough state, but uh, the TLC I gave it this spring, uh, it got us through the season, but not without a few hiccups. The tractor ran great, but the mower deck was a little more temperamental. It ate through two belts and we were pretty lucky to finish the season with a third. My first project of the winter is to figure this whole thing out. This is how things ended up for us after the last cut of this fall. The belt kept slipping off the pulleys and getting wound up. Most of the thickness of the belt has disappeared and it just can't be tightened any further. This is exactly what the first two belts did before breaking completely. There's a lot going on down here. You can see that the pulleys are pitted with rust, which kind of acts like sandpaper to the belt, which obviously will wear it out quickly. It also looks like the rear pulley is misaligned. The belt is being pulled off the top edge of the pulley, which is also rusty, which is accelerating the sandpaper effect. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that these belts aren't lasting that long. I'm going to take the whole mower deck off and uh, place it in my shop where it's warm. The Kubota is a really well thought out machine and the deck comes off pretty easily. This mower is about 20 years old and I'm pretty sure it's seen a lot of hard use and not much maintenance. Now that I know that the engine is solid, I feel a lot better about putting some time and effort into getting it to cut properly. This belt was replaced this spring and isn't showing much wear at all. I'm still going to inspect all the components and make sure everything is lubed and working properly before putting it all back together. I'll start with the main drive pulley. This is the one we looked at earlier, uh, the one that appeared to be misaligned. My intention is to remove the entire assembly, strip it down and deal with whatever the problem is. These bearings are a bit dry and rough and I'll definitely need to replace them. The shaft that holds the pulley in place is clearly out of square in the direction of the misalignment, probably from years of operating pressure. It's still solidly connected to the thick plate base though, so it might be easier just to shim the front of it when I put it all back together to try to get it straight. The spindle bearings are all pretty bad too. I sort of suspected that this was the case. The engine was clearly burdened when the cutting deck was engaged and it often squealed and rumbled while cutting. The resistance from a complete set of worn bearings would also contribute significantly to wearing out a drive belt. Check out the spindle on the right. It's still operating properly and uh, well, you can really see the difference in the other two. Uh, they just don't seem to be turning very well at all.
Some mowers that I've worked on in the past require the entire spindle assembly to be replaced, which can be a pretty expensive fix. These ones fortunately came apart with a little bit of persuasion and the bearings are a very common off-the-shelf size. You can see that they've been ridden hard and put away wet for the last 20 years. Definitely it's uh, time to replace them. In order to give the new bearings a fighting chance, I've decided to thoroughly pack them with lithium grease, which is much better at repelling water. Even though they're sealed, water can still find a way in, which will shorten their life dramatically. The spindle bodies have been soaking in a hot mixture of Dawn dish soap and water in the ultrasonic cleaner for at least an hour. This both cleans them and expands them a bit to make seating the new bearings easier. That looks a lot better. It's just a matter of bolting them back in. I've soaked the entire surface with a rust inhibiting film and all the rusty old mounting hardware has been replaced. It'd be awesome to get another 20 years out of this uh, tractor mower combo. This is a 2mm shim I made up from some stainless steel. It shouldn't be too hard to adjust later if it isn't the right thickness. The bearings in the idler pulleys aren't removable so the entire assembly would need to be replaced. They've 
both spin pretty nicely so I've decided to just repack them with grease and hope for the best. They stay pretty dry so I think they'll be okay. This is what the pulleys looked like before I took a wire brush and scotch Brite pad to them. Very rusty and sandpaper like. And here they are before being reinstalled. A fresh coat of paint and very smooth. That should make a huge difference. edges on the blades were still remarkably good from the sharpening I gave them this spring. I still gave them a little touch up on the tips before putting them back on. One of the plastic wheels on the front of the mower deck sheared its bolt this summer. I had another one in my stash and it was pretty quick work to replace it. The last item on my fix it list is this braking unit for the cutter pulley. It's a safety item which locks the blade assembly when the drive belt has been disengaged. It's completely worn out and isn't doing anything. My go-to solution for this kind of situation is a hockey puck which is made out of very durable vulcanized rubber. This one was left over from another project so I'll see if I can make it work as a pulley brake. Hockey pucks machine very easily and are incredibly tough. My new pad is quite a bit larger than the original one and I'm hoping that it'll wear longer. I also made a second one since I already had everything set up in the shop. If this doesn't work I will bite the bullet and buy the proper replacement from the dealer but you know, what fun is that? Now that the deck is reinstalled, I have to adjust my new brake pads to engage and disengage in time with the belt. The alignment of the drive pulley looks to be just about perfect. In fact, its new position required a new belt one inch longer, which happens to be the recommended size from Kubota. Alright, and it tests out perfectly. The engine isn't hesitating when the mower blades are engaged, the bearings aren't squealing, and the pulley brake is doing its job in time with the belt. It's going to be a few months before we can really test it by putting it to work on the lawn, but I'm pretty confident that everything's going to be a-okay. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to be notified of more cool videos just like this one.